and he's dancing on the sphere. Yay! Oh dear, I'm in, I'm in orbit again. <laughs> yeah, we're going to go into infinity. To infinity and beyond! Hey guys, this is uh, Tikazu in Robot Studio. I thought I'd do a slightly different kind of video this time. Uh, I've been asked to do a planetary sort of gravity where, let's say we've got this planet in front of us here, and uh, people have been wondering how to sort of affect, uh, sort of walk around the planet sort of thing. I've, uh, I don't know exactly how to do it, but I think I'm on the, track on how to do that sort of thing because uh, if you ever flip a humanoid or your player upside down they stop animating I what I'm thinking is when we might need a new animation file so I've wrote a quick little script this only took me about 20 minutes to make it's far from functional functional uh, working in other words at the moment but I'm using my gravity script as well as a custom well it's just a clone of the animation file inside every single player so the only changes I've done to it at the moment is I'm uh, recording uh, if a key is sort of pressed sort of thing this is actually taken from my, uh, my uh, 3D uh, what do you call it my 3D protection screen thing. So when we sort of upside down, we can't actually move because the humanoid refuses to move because it thinks it's upside down and or out flat sort of thing. So we have to apply a velocity or a force to the torso to move you forward. And I thought I might as well just comment out what was already here which is these and then adding my own forces and of course key presses and things this is probably very very complex it doesn't probably don't have to be that complex <laughs> I've just done it that way because uh, that's how I say it in my head sometimes I overthink things too much anyway I'll show you what I've done so far I've turned off gravity in the workspace as you can see there because uh, if I don't do that crazy things I'll start orbiting the planet <laughs> and then go uh, get teleported off into uh, infinity all right here we go this will only work for players at the moment oh my voice <clears throat> yeah so that's as far as I got at the moment and of course we've got jump oh dear I'm gonna go into orbit yeah we're in orbit lovely <laughs> yeah so it's very very basic at the moment so the way I'm sort of rotating the character is I'm using the C-frame <clears throat> so I'm taking into account of the player torso and then I'm looking at the planet position because this is from the planet side and then all I'm doing is uh, adding a C-frame angles of 90 degrees in the X uh, radius thing or whatever you call that to get the character sort of standing up right on the, on the sphere and then eventually once I work out how to do it I think what's actually needed that's too exact if you like because as you go up around the sphere when you get to the uh, the pole of the sphere as you saw you sort of flip around like um and it loads so if i go up see that i'm just pressing forward and he's dancing on the sphere yay oh dear i'm in, I'm in orbit again <laughs> yeah we're gonna go into infinity to infinity and beyond hold on matt gonna do a few more orbits <laughs> 
Here we go. I think I've achieved light speed. Wow. Yeah, I've achieved light speed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. I think what is actually needed is to play around with these rather than setting the actual C-frame to look at the planet. Or maybe, just maybe, use the brick orientation to rotate the part rather than using the C-frame. I haven't tried it yet, but as I thought of uh, kind of like uh, how my moving things work, like uh, let's just say you got X, Y, and Z for a pot for a uh, part. Let's actually do it here. Nope, would not. I do that. So let's just say I got a part in the space, and then we move it. We want it to get to a sort of point, like let's say we got to a point of. I don't know. Something like that. X, Y, and Z. And we want to get to... Oh. We'd have an actually type. Something like that. What I was thinking of doing, even though this is uh, translation that position I thought maybe you because rotation and translation in robots is basically the same thing as a vector 3 it's not really a vector 3 because it's uh, your pitch and roll or that word I can't say to do with matrix matrices because it's c-frame what I was thinking was uh, let's just say in a one or true do loop you got x equals POS dot X if X less than target dot X X equals X plus one etc etc I know that's not not correct syntax but that's the idea of how I do sort of move things around and if it's a greater than that it will minus one I thought I might use that to rotate rather than move where we could have POS dot orientation or kind of like that and we want to get to that yeah that's how you spell it so let's just say we start off in a rotation of 20 degrees in the X and 50 degrees in the Z we would do that to get to that position and then we use the C-frame angles or orientation of the part just minus one each time that's my thoughts on how I might, we might be able to do this it's uh, not much of a example I might even upload this uh, so you guys can actually play around with it it's basically just my uh, gravity script as I said and then just a animation file uh, just overriding the original yeah so I'm looking for the actual animate uh, fil uh, file inside the player so if I start it I'll show you, show you what I mean so if I go into my player we got a animation file and there's my new one so all I've done is just disabled it so if we wanted to if we go above the sort of the gravity influence it removes this file and reactivates your animation file so you don't have to worry about uh, any adverse effects when you get out of gravity where your, play your player just stops animating or something I thought I'd keep the original there just in case so all I've done is just disabled it and added a copy of the same script and using that to animate yeah I've got to sort that out 
Oh well, I can have a disco on top of a uh, disco ball. <laughs> there you go. And then go into orbit around it. Yay! Perfect. Yeah! Dooch, 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 dooch. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, so that's my thoughts on how um, we might be able to do uh, gra gravity in robots, like planetary gravity. I don't know, because I've never really done anything like this before. I've done gravity, but I've never animated a character around to walk around the, uh, the sphere. So, I think I'm on the right track, but I don't know. I might, yeah, as I say, I might use this calculation as the target to get to, and then use uh, that rotation thing that I was talking about just now to get to that point. But then I'll have to convert the C frame into uh, your pitch and roll. I have actually done that in the past, but I have to remember how I've done that to get that sort of working. And then the other thing that we should sort out is, because I'm setting the humanoid to plat platform stand, you sort of drop, drop into the sphere, your legs disappear into, into the planet. <laughs> like, let's play. Yeah, there we go. You see that? Let's disable the uh, planet itself and I'll show you what it's like normal. Well, I suppose you know what it's like uh, normally. Alright, let's enable the gravity. 196.2 Where normally you're just walking on your feet. That's the humanoid actually. Uh, you get. Five activate what I'm doing with the script to my character we should disappear into the floor like so that's what I'm doing by the script and of course we can't move until we jump oh we can't even jump as well cool okay something I learned there <laughs> platform stand Yeah, okay. I've done that in the past where I've turned platform stand on and you just flop over. <laughs> no. Oh well, that's my thoughts on how we might be able to do uh, planetary gravity in robots. I will continue working on this until uh, I get to a point where it's actually working properly. But as you can see, it's almost there, but it's not quite. It's still uh, a little bit glitchy. And I've got to fix the uh, problem of going into orbit every time you jump. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, I might keep that as a superhero thing. Like you can fly around the planet. Superhero! Yeah, exactly. Superhero. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Co coughing on camera. Or microphone that doesn't work. Anyway, this has been uh, TKZ in Robot Studio, and um, if I remember, I'll put this what I've got so far in the description down below, so you can, guys can play with it. And I'll catch you guys later. TKZ signing out. Let's actually go on in orbit for the uh, outro. I think would help if I turn it on first. <laughs> Gary. Don't forget that on script uh, switch. There we go. Right, let's do it. Three, two, one. Oh look, we're in orbit already. Yeah. See you later, guys. <laughs>